Hello! We landed in Aberdeen and drove up to this glorious campsite right on the banks of the River Dee. It's called Furbank Park and it's a beautiful little caravan and motorhoming club site, a CL site and it is glorious. I've got to show you around this one. Pulled up yesterday, spoke to the chap that owns the site and uh, he's an absolute star. As I say, only go to good sites with nice people and uh, these are definitely lovely people. Chap and his wife owns the place, it's a relatively new campsite and uh, I think I'll show you around, give you a look. So this is a definite, this is a gem, it's a brand new site. Uh, the guy's doing some work on site and uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Pulled up here yesterday and I thought this is it. What a lovely flipping site. There's loads of walking to be had around here. We're right on the banks of the River Dee in a place called Dinnit, right near Dinnit Bridge. So I'll flip you around and I'll show you about. Crossed the Dinnit Bridge, which is just down there by them signs. There's a road closure at the moment. They're doing some work on the drains up the road there. So at the moment, the road's closed. But if you see that sign, you're on top of the site. So lovely big wide entrance, one way in, one way out. True to fashion, I'll go through the no entry sign. But here is where you have your recycling bins, right at the entrance. Good place to put them, out of the way, very, very nice. Basically, along that beautiful old stone wall there, a nice big row of evergreens, absolutely stunning done in trees and uh, you come down this little approach road they've had a bit of shocking weather lately but it's cleared up and now it's gorgeous and frosty absolutely lovely perfect walking weather still got my shorts on look at these trees absolutely stunning So I'll take you up to the site. Okay. So, you come up to the entrance gate. It's got a bit of a lay-by here, so you can get a van in the van out. If there's someone waiting to come out, you can pull over there. There's a key code pad on this post here. When you phone up, they will let you know the passcode to get in. Also, there's lights in here as well. So, there's a button on there that will illuminate your entry point. So you press the buttons, stay back behind these PIR sensors here, otherwise the gate won't open because it will bash the front of your van and the gates open towards you. Nice electric gates. Please keep your dog on a lead. It's, you can have your dogs here obviously but keep them under control and on a lead. So look at that, nice entry point. Electric, press the buttons, and you've got to get out your van. Absolutely lovely. And there's another button push there. And here on this site, it's lovely and spacious. It's got a beautiful feel to this campsite. You know, when people have put a bit of uh, love and care and thought into a campsite, because they haven't tried to cram loads of people on. There's loads of space around here. This first bit is the CL site. Camping and Motorhoming Club site, which you've got to be a member of the Camping and Motorhoming Club, which we are. And they're all, all basically pulled up last night, dead flat. But I put a truck underneath the back wheel just to kick it up a little bit so the old uh, water drains out the shower properly. They're all nice and flat, hard standings, all with electric. and water. How good's that? Oh, water. And I've even put a little yellow hose lock nozzles on for you, which most campsites don't. That's a right nice little touch. There's certain things around here that you just think, yeah, they put a lot of love, thought and effort into this. For example, those. 
So each pitch has got a water point on, which is really nice. <clears throat> and there's a drive over waste, grey waste over there in the shed that I'll take over and show you. It's all under construction, this site. <clears throat> All the water points and electric points are all going to have doors fitted to them. The guy that runs the place is super skillful. Engineered by trade and you can tell. I mean look at that. Look. There's all walks all the way around here. An oak forest there. We're going to go and have a walk through that today. With the Hound of the Baskervilles. And then go down and have a cup of tea on the D side down there. There's a little bench apparently. Um, people are very very knowledgeable with the area. If you want to know anything, they are more than happy to help you with anything you want to help with. But look at that, it's absolutely stunning. Really nice. The website is very comprehensive, really nice website. I'll put a link up to that in the comments below. There it is over there. Strapped up, behaving yourself. And I'll take you over and show you the water facilities. But it's flipping lovely. I'll take you over and show this. Uh, he's putting a toilet in at the moment, so I'll take you over and show you. Right, back to the shed. Just spoke to us, Justine, I think. I'm terrible with names. Archie's her husband. And uh, they're both as lovely as each other. You can't go wrong. They're so lovely. Uh, I'll just fall on my feet when it comes to campsites with be beautiful people owning it. And uh, I've definitely fell on my feet with this one. There's a drive over waste there, look. This is what Archie was doing yesterday. And he's boxing all this in and putting a heater in there. He's put a heater on this standpipe here. So this is heat. It's obviously at the moment we've got a big freeze as you can see. Which is lovely. So you've got your water there. Here is your chemical toilet disposal. Look at that. It's flipping brilliant, isn't it? I love it. Only green non-formaldehyde fluids on this site because of the cesspit. Kills all the bio-culture in the cesspit and makes it go a cropper. And he was doing this yesterday. So I don't know how far he's got. There we go. Oh, he's got his tools in here. And he's putting a toilet sink in there. How cool is that? What a clever chap. And they live on site over there in that bungalow. And if you look through them two pieces of fence in there, there's another bit of a campsite there, which is a non-CL site. And uh, this, that's for non-members through there. But again, lovely pitches. You've nestled away in that lovely little piece of woodland there in the corner. It's just unbelievable, beautiful. And you can walk around there, a little bit of, a gr little bit of ground here. But look at that. All surrounded by forest. It's just absolutely beautiful. We're going to go for a walk now. Uh, just had a nice chat with the lady that owns the property, and she is an absolute darling, as you'd expect. It's just so refreshing and lovely to come to places like this and uh, chat to the people that actually want to do this sort of thing. You know, if you've got a, a campsite, you need to be a special, sociable, happy, sparkly kind of person. And uh, obviously, because you've got people coming onto your property all the time. You've got new guests every day, every week. And uh, true to form, the two that own this place are absolutely wonderful, really good. Can't see their praises high enough. So yeah, six pitches there. Obviously we're hooked up in old Gladys. We've got the tank heaters. I had tank heaters fitted to it in factory. So we click them on and they just keep the fresh water tank just above freezing point. So you don't all freeze up. You don't empty ice cubes out of your tap. So we're gonna go for a walk up through this piece of woodland here today. It's like an old oak forest, and they own a piece of property over there, which is like a uh, Scots pine. 
So that looks nice in there. We're going to have a look, little look in there. I've got my camera trap up, set up in a tree in front of Gladys, and see what we see. But we'll take you for a little walk around the area, as I like to do, show you what's about, see if we can get some photographs in. The birds are singing. Look at that. You can hear the river running. It's not far off, I think it's the A93, not far off of that, which is the road basically that goes from Aberdeen into the Cairngorms, around the Cairngorms. It's a really accessible site, flat as you like, perfectly tended, great facilities, no showers, you have to be completely self contained, however, they are putting that little toilet and hand basin in there just in case just in case you know it is every time Sammy goes in the toilet I need to get in there so it's a little uh, <coughs> little oasis for you guys anyway we're gonna have a walk let me flip you around we're gonna go and have a walk and show you what we can see but thoroughly thoroughly recommend this place thoroughly recommend it as long as you leave a spot for me to come when I want to come here and get yourselves here it's beautiful nice people nice campsite beautiful area of the world right nestled just inside the Cairngorms National Park what more can I say anyway I'll see you in a little while video from Furbank flipping lovely there Archie and Justine are just absolutely awesome 
I'd put this in top top 10 my top 10 hits of uh, campsites really really beautiful lovely people and uh, here we are on the banks of the River Dee literally you walk down that little bit of bank there outside the campsite and you're on here look at that how cool is that so I hope you like that little bit of a uh, little bit of wildlife are stuck in there and then photographs from Archie from the site uh, we've seen the Atlantic salmon up and down this river here the poor old adult fish that have swum up the river do to get to this point to spawn and now they're uh... now that's it for them we've seen buzzards there's pine martin in the area badgers badger sign it's, it's lovely really really great place i'm pretty sure you will enjoy your stay here so let me shift you about there there you go so again i hope you enjoyed that you stay safe and stay staying get yourselves here leave me a spot though eh? Catch you soon. Bye.